before that day happened, I was in a toxic, a toxic relationship. <laughs> <laughs> your boy Val and we back and <laughs> so guys today is the day we are about to let y'all know how this happened but I think we take it back start from when your yeah. side of the story <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so um it was literally two days after I broke up with my ex-boyfriend right so obviously I was at home and my sister and his brother were nagging me to come with them to his brother's house. No, his house, right? <laughs> they were nagging me to come with them and I was just like, no, no. And they're like, no, you're going to be alone here. Just come, let's go, you know, let's have some fun. And I was just like, oh, okay. After like a long time of them nagging, I was like, okay, let me go do my hair, go get this, let me go with them. Anyway, ooh, anyway, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I got there and I found Mr. Where did I find you? Find me looking fabulous, fantastic. I was looking like snow on a hot day. <laughs> <laughs> in other words, I was in boxer shorts under a blanket in front of the TV on a couch. Yeah, but the hair stand involved. His hair was very really long, it was like standing. I was a super saiyan, yeah. <laughs> and he just had his boxes on and He's under a blanket watching TV. Everyone's vibing outside, having fun in his one side. <laughs> yeah, anyway. So, but on my story before that day happened, I was in a toxic, a toxic relationship. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, things were just not happening for your boy at the time. <laughs> Why did you have to say toxic? Because isn't that like the fancy or what you say? Doesn't make me sound oh. educated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guy. Again, guys, just, just picture the scenario. How does that look? You're supposed to be in a relationship. Everyone outside is vibing, partying, having a good time. Mm -hmm. Your boy is under a blanket watching anime by himself. So yeah. So anyway, guys, when when I met him. Right. Obviously, I just came out of a breakup. I told myself, I will not get involved with anyone for at least over one year. I mean, my relationship was almost five years. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, I just, I need to work on myself, you know, follow my dreams. Just focus on myself. I don't have time for anyone else in my life. Right? Most that. Yeah, and then obviously when I met him, he had a girlfriend and I didn't like, I didn't even see Val as a potential boyfriend okay, because, because I wasn't ready, right? I wasn't ready to get involved with anyone. Mm -hmm. He had a girlfriend. Anyway, we got along and we just always had a good time together, you know? Like we understood each other. Like I stayed laughing. When Same. I was working. <laughs> and yeah. So eventually, like, I built up this thing that said, you know what? I can't take this anymore. If I'm rather going to rather be alone and happy than to be dating someone and, I'm happy. and unhappy. Mm -hmm. So eventually, I built up the courage and I said, you know what? I'm not doing this anymore. And just to let you guys know, it was face to face because your boy ain't a wuss. <laughs> 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 I don't send no text, I don't send no phone Oh, call. wait until just, wait, wait a few minutes, wait a few minutes and you'll see if you're still not a boost. Your boy's a real G, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, eventually, like, I broke up with my ex and I said to myself, you know what? It just so happened to be, like, in December, I was like, you know what? I am about to love 
the best life. <laughs> I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to do things that I've always wanted to do, but got shot down because you always have dumb ideas. And like, I just wanted to... Every idea I had was a dumb idea. Who said so? Oh, let's not mention. But yeah. Oh! Oh. So I couldn't, like, what I considered having fun. Again, I'm, a, I'm an otaku. I want to go out. I want to have a game night. I want to play some beer pong. You know what I'm saying? I just want to have a good time. And yeah, no. Why must you always be boring? Why can't we just go out? Because your boy don't want to do it, though. So... <laughs> And that's crazy, the fact that we're together and he's an otaku and I am like, I was for the streets, okay? I am the streets, I mean I was the streets. <laughs> so I am a very outgoing person, you know, I wanna do things, you know, go out there, find being in clubs, or you know, taking shots, you know, and stuff. So we we completely different in that sense. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But we had so much in common again when when we first met it wasn't just the music it was the communication the conversation just the way i'd make a dumb joke that everyone else would be like and she'd be laughing i'd be like but you got it yeah <laughs> <laughs> so it was but just, i laugh at everything so that doesn't come <laughs> but still the fact that you got my joke without yeah. me explaining no, the joke, I understand. you get what i'm saying yeah so there was already like a lot of chemistry from there, but again, I was still in a toxic relationship. And I just want to throw one thing out. My parents always said to me, you like to stay at home. You need to get out more. You are not going to find someone sitting on this couch. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but while, while you were still in a relationship, there was no funny business. Nothing. We were friends for months. a couple of months. Yeah. Yeah. And then from there, now again it's December, we both have the same mindset, we're friends, we're just having a good time. Our aunt and uncle said, you know what, we're planning a family vacation to Cape Town. Yeah. Do you and your siblings want to come with? And they were down, you know. And it and just, then... yeah, it just so happened to be that I was going to Cape Town as well, because I was going to see a friend I haven't seen in years. Okay, anyway, so... Yeah, so we planned, okay, we're gonna go with them to Cape Town, right? I, I'm always losing my train of thought because you're not giving me a chance to talk. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, we said, okay, we're going with uh, my aunt and uncle to Cape Town. And then I got a bit foolish, right? This was now 2019, then, December. Mm. Not last year, December. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I got sick. And I was like, now nah, maybe I shouldn't go with because I was, I was like down, you know. Yeah. And I was like, you know, it's, it's just gonna be selfish of me to go with and make everyone else sick when they just wanna have fun. So I was like, okay, maybe I should stay at home. I'll see how I feel. It was like a few days before we left. And then he was so amped, like, we're going to get down together, right? I was. And then when I said, while well, I'm sick, I don't think I'm going, what did Mr. say? I was like, I have man flu, I ain't going too. <laughs> <laughs> we stay so, here together. <laughs> <laughs> so, at that point, I was very suspicious. I was like, why is he staying <laughs> if I'm not going? But if I'm going, he's going. That, that was just sus. Anyway, so in Cape Town, we had so much fun. We did. And we'd literally chill until early hours of the morning, you know, just talking nonsense and having a blast as usual. And then <laughs> the main, the main day came, the sweetest day of my life. No literally. <laughs> I promise you, the sweetest day. Okay, so like she mentioned, we've been friends for a while and like the chemistry and the connection was already there. And your boy couldn't hide the fact that his feelings were coming through. I couldn't deny it anymore. So on New Year's Eve, I decided, you know what, today I'm going to express how I feel. If I get shot down, I get shot down. You know, I tried. So I got my sister and my friend and we went to the mall canal walk. We went to American Swiss because of a gift I wanted to get. I'm planning the whole thing out in my head and 
Yeah, she looks pretty. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that night we ended up at um, a beach. We can't remember the name of the beach in Cape Town. And it was a few minutes before countdown, right? So when the countdown, how do I explain this? At the end of the countdown, sorry mm -hmm. guys, I'm sorry. At the end of the countdown, um, we obviously hugged each other and we were like, yeah. And then I already have my arms around his neck, right? And he has his arms around yeah, my waist. Oh, pretty waist. <laughs> and then <laughs> he just hits me with, look in my pocket. <laughs> and I'm thinking, what? Bear in mind, we're still friends. Like, no one said I like you or no one said I have feelings for you. Nothing. <laughs> right? Nothing. At this point in time, we are friends. <laughs> he's like looking my pocket. I'm like, hmm? Next thing is that, I'm like, which pocket? He's like, my jacket pocket. So I still checked on the outside, he's like, no, the inside. <laughs> so I went to the inside pocket and I took it out and it's like a box, right? That mm. says American Swiss on it. And I'm looking at the box and I was just like, oh, and I hugged him. And then I asked him, is this earrings? And he starts laughing and I'm like Your boy was at a loss for words, do you know what to say? Is this earrings? <laughs> <laughs> and I had no clue, I didn't see it coming at all. And I opened this box and it's a ring. <laughs> that moment when I opened it, I was like, damn. I was like, what? I was at such a loss for words. Yeah, I actually I try didn't to, say much. I tried to explain to her like what I'm feeling and what I wanted for this day, saying we came here to this specific beach for a reason. Because what I wanted was the fireworks to go off, you know? And romantic it did. setting. It did. Yeah. Like just the two of us on the beach and the first words that come out of my mind my mouth is Don't worry, it's not the engagement. <laughs> She wasn't gonna roll with it. I must look in the pocket for the engagement ring. I think not. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the way it's done. I know, but like, guys, especially my otaku fans that love chick flicks, guys, you can admit it. Like, things weren't going 100% according to plan, you know? Because we met up with our uncle at a different beach at the waterfront. And now I'm stressing because it's like a few minutes to go before the fireworks go off and the countdown happens to get to the beach where I want to go. Because this is, this is how I picture it happening and where it must happen. I didn't want it any specific way because I knew the fireworks go off from the VNA, but the best view was at that beach. So now I'm already stressing. I never had a chance to go over my lines, you know, because we were in the same car. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's what came out of my mouth. It's not an engagement ring, don't stress. <laughs> Yeah, so from that point, yeah, our anniversary is on the 1st of Jan. It was such a, such a sweet moment and you are so shy, Shane. You are so shy. I think we still have that video, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> we can show like a snippet here on the side if you guys want to see that. Try harder. No, it's gonna hurt you. Try. It's not gonna go. <laughs> we'll try a bit bigger next time. <laughs> It's a flop. Okay, try, try the pinky. Let's see if it fits on the pinky. <laughs> Low key. Long story short, that's how all of this happened. A shy otaku with an outgoing party girl, and it works. <laughs> we tell you it works. <laughs> yeah, guys. So ever since then, we have loved happily <laughs> ever after, and we thank God for. Bringing us together, because yeah. that's legit what happened. Both of us said, you know what? I'm single now, I'm living yeah. my best life. Little to us, is it? You're living your best life together. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. So yeah, guys, that's it for today. 
If you guys have any questions, post them down below in the comments. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> so please don't forget to like, like share, share, comment, and, and subscribe. subscribe. <laughs>